A fossil called Tanistrophius was first described in 1852, and it's been puzzling scientists ever since. At one point, paleontologists thought it was a flying pterosaur, like a pterodactyl, and that its long, hollow bones were phalanges in the finger that supported the wing. Later on, they figured out that those were elongated neck bones, and that it was a 20-foot-long reptile with a 10-foot neck, three times as long as its torso. Scientists still weren't sure if it lived on land or in the water, and they didn't know if smaller specimens were juveniles or a completely different species until now. By CT scanning the fossils' crushed skulls and digitally reassembling them, researchers found evidence that the animals were water-dwelling, and by examining the growth rings in bones, determined that the big and little Tanistrophius were separate species that could live alongside each other without competing because they hunted different prey. So that answered one question, about where Tanistrophius lived. To learn whether the small specimens were juveniles or a separate species, the researchers examined the bones for signs of growth and aging. And doing 3D CT scanning they are sure that animals lived in the water not on the land.